Based in the magnificent Ardennes countryside, Spa hosted its first Grand Prix back in 1925. This historic track is loved by drivers and fans alike. So it's welcome to the Belgian Grand Prix. Spa Francorchamps today, a circuit that spans 4.35 miles. There are tons of elevation changes along the way too. 19 corners making up this circuit, with nine of those to the right and the remaining 10 to the left. This track is a great one for fans of pure speed. The average lap speed comes close to a whopping 145 miles an hour. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Norris, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Sainz and Lance Stroll, Sonoda, Ackerman, Esteban Ocon and Butler, Jackson, Giovinazzi, Sebastian Vettel and Pierre Gasly. Russell and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, you're in the top 10. We're expecting rain in a couple of laps, Casper. Repeat, rain is forecast. Good work, great pass.
Aiden is coming in for his stop. Exit, exit now. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Showing a clear patch on its way. There's about 10 more minutes of this rain. We won't be making another pit stop. The teammate behind is 20.4 seconds. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Aiden is in the pits. Aiden in the pits. Fuel remaining. work that brings you up a place fantastic you've won the Grand Prix Another top five finish for Haas. Amongst the drama ants, they've been quietly racking up some good points. Yeah, it's caught me off guard a little bit, actually. When you look at the table, you realise they're not doing as badly as you might think. Haas have been nothing if not entertaining this season, for good or bad. It'll be interesting to see how they fare by the end of the season. The quality and fantastic result of the Haas team will have been noticed by everyone else out there today. You can see why everyone's taking them so seriously. These drivers will be hot property by the end of the season. All I'm saying is that the team are back in the mix this season. That's how good you've done. Yeah. You're ending your career on a high just like you wanted. You really couldn't ask for much better. You want one? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. 
What? I'm n nothing. I'm, I'm fine. You haven't driven like this in ages. You're out there having a great time. You're raking in the points, but you're doing your moody face. I'm not doing my moody face. Stop that. Like this. Okay. It's Aiden. What about him? Well, he's still not right. He's moping around, anxious, apologetic. I think he's struggling. I thought you were going to ignore him. Yeah, but he's just a kid. He needs support. From you? So, how many races have I got left? What's this all about, Cass? Let's say that um, I've got three or four months left in F1. What if... Go on. Nah, forget it. No, what? You laugh at me. Promise not to. It just sounds so stupid. <laughs> what does? <laughs> what if I can... Oh my god. What? You've gone soft, haven't you? I knew you'd make fun of me. You want to make the F1 world a better place before you retire. You want to help the team, help aid in your own career be damned. And what if I did? So Casper Ackerman does have a heart after all. I'll alert the media. No, look, Zoe, I'm serious. What if I did? What could you do? Well, Ferrari have a, a seat coming up next season. Some say they might even sign him. That is his dream. And you think you could help? I honestly don't know. Cass, can you head back to the data center quickly? What's the issue? The team are just finishing up going over the data from P3. They want to confirm some aspects of the tire strategy with you. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? We won't do anything you're not comfortable with. Okay, let, let me just finish up here. We'll be waiting, uh, whenever you're ready. Thanks, Brian.
Casper, we think you can push for the fastest lap. Not now. Yep, we're in a strong position. See what you can do. No problem. move. There's three laps of fuel remaining. this lap of the race so far. is 2.2 seconds. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. That's quite some achievement for Hass's Casper Ackerman, getting the fastest lap out. Yeah, it's not often that you see any team outside of the top three pick up that extra point. Hass went with what looked like an aggressive tyre strategy, but it paid off for them. Incredible, really. Hass now very much in the mix for a strong midfield finish this season. And who knows, they might even be eyeing up fourth place. They'll be delighted. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here.
Brian. Cass, meant to say, nice work on that fastest lap. That's a welcome point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the team did well. Well, you drove the thing, Cass. Congratulations. Thanks. Look, there are rumours you'll try and wriggle out of the team dinner tomorrow. Put my mind at rest, would you? I'm coming to the team dinner, Brian. Beautiful place we booked. Reason to celebrate. You're gonna love it. Is Zoe still coming? Yeah, she wouldn't miss it. Terrific. Wonderful. Are you excited, Cass? Tell me you're excited. I'm certainly attending. Small victories, I suppose. We'll see you there. Thanks, Brian. Hey, Zo. Hey, hey. Everyone's talking about the team dinner. We're still going, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, come on, Cass. You'll miss these things when they're gone. Hmm. We'll see. Why did I marry such a miserable man? Because he makes up for it with his charm. Hmm, that's not what I heard. <laughs> yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear in the news. What are you up to? Just emails and stuff. Okay. I think I'll head back to the hotel. I'll see you there. Bye. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> you've been wonderful. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, uh, Casper. You will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening and let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Aiden. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey. Where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Hayden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent has been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just, I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. It would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. 
Well, I'll leave you to it. You can apologise to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the centre of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Kenneth. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? <laughs>